I've become more and more interested. I, I think I said earlier that I have a horror of noise. Um, and I count music. I put music in, into that category. I think one, well, f f for myself, I music is not music if I am not in the right mood. It's just a noise when you turn that noise off, you know. And it might be a Mozart symphony, it might be anything. Where it, it, you know, it, it just... And th this business of silence, and, and I like to say that music is a tapestry of sound woven in a loom of silence. And it's like a painting which can only exist on a blank canvas. Otherwise, it's nothing. And, you know, I, th I, I sometimes hear myself saying to a student or telling a student, um, well done after they played something, but I, I haven't heard enough silence in your performance. Enough silence, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't got enough air, it, you know, I, it doesn't breathe, it's all too compressed, it's too anxious. Um, so this attitude, was it something you've always had, or was it something you... No, I can't truthfully say. I've, I, I, I think it's probably always been there at some point, but it's taken the form of, of uh, what form has it taken? It's taken the form of always enjoying being on my own in, in silent places, particularly churches or monasteries come to that. Um, uh, because I think silence is, it's not, it's not noiselessness. I think it's in silence that you hear everything. <laughs> it's a powerful statement. Well, I think I think it's I think it's true. And coming back to the business of noise, um, and practicing, for example, I can remember as a student, uh, and I, it, it used to make me cringe, and it still does. Uh, I used to overhear students saying, "Oh, I've done uh, five hours practice today," mm -hmm. and then another student said, "Oh, I've done six, You know, mm. um, and I think, oh. I mean, now to me, and I, Ashkenazi said to me, this is one of my lines, I can say, look you in the eye, Ashkenazi said to me when I was with him on one occasion, if anybody has to practice more than four hours a day, they're in the wrong business. And Shura Chikaski, who I knew very well, and I could um, tell you a few stories about him, mm -hmm. uh, he used to say that he practiced four hours to the second and he meant that. Um, and I, I think people practice far too much. They, you know, they make too much noise, wear out the piano, and don't listen to a, a thing they're doing. Um, it sounds rather harsh, but I, I, I do feel that. Um, yes.